It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each episode brings you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've unintentionally given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Earlier this week, we talked with Brittany Dixon about turning your time into money, having enough time to do things, delegating so that you have more time, allowing yourself to have time to do the things that you truly want to do. You see, one of the brain bullshit pieces that we fall into is that we don't have enough time. Now, look, I understand that everyone's lives and circumstances are different. Some people have more kids. Some people have more demanding jobs. There's a lot of different variables. So I'm not discounting any of that. But really, truly, honestly, and always, it breaks down to what are we making time for? So today's Power Back, we're going to talk about time some more. If you're feeling like, I don't have enough time, I wish I had more time, there are more things that I want to do in this world, but I don't have the time to do it, then this week's Power Back is probably for you. Something that I hear and see more often than not is resistance. Resistance to even accepting the fact that you have the choice to have time to do the things that truly fuel your soul. Resistance tells me a couple of different things. One, you want something, but there is fear that's present. Fear around doing it, fear around what other people think, fear around actually having something. Fear likes to jump in the car and be like, I'm gonna drive today. So much of this comes back to taking your power back that fear does not get to drive, and rather the resistance that you have is around accepting what you truly want. I always say that the thing that you want the most is often behind the thing that you resist the most. And if you're wanting to have time in your life, but you're cramming your fucking schedule with meetings and running here and there and doing things for everyone else and putting yourself on the back burner, then my friend, you are resisting time. Sometimes resistance tells you that you truly do not want something. Something isn't aligned. This isn't for you, but you're having a hard time accepting that usually because you don't want to let somebody down. And sometimes resistance means that you're in freeze mode because you're not sure what your internal compass is trying to tell you. That yes, I want this, but I'm afraid of it. Or no, I don't want this, but I don't want to upset anybody. Resistance is simply indecision in disguise. And it's one of the things that I fucking love the most about helping you to recognize and shift. From now until December 16th, I'm offering alignment sessions at $350 off. Why, Laura? Why are you doing this? Well, it's pretty simple. I know that you want more in this life. I know that there's something bigger calling you. There is a clarity. There is a calmness. There is a purpose that is like dying to come out of you. You are like a firework inside of a box. My role and goal in your life as your alignment coach is to help you recognize those things and shift them, to allow yourself to be who you truly are to the core of yourself. I know that you don't want to do a bunch of other shit. You've got plenty of that to do. So together, we're going to work on the undoing, the letting go of the shoulds, the letting go of the shit that doesn't belong to you, and embracing who you've always been before the world told you what you should and should not be. So the answer to that question is simple. I want to empower you to start your new year, recognizing and honoring your aligned self so that you can play in the possibility, feel present and calm, and start doing the shit that lights you up. Book your session by December 16th by going to lauraora.com, or if you go and travel to the show notes, you can click on the direct link to choose your date and time. So speaking of time, let's talk about time. Let's talk about not having enough time. Because let's face it, that is the number one thing that I hear and I used to say in my own life and business as well. I don't have time to go to the spa. I don't have time to grow my business. I don't have time to be with my friends. I don't have time to go on vacation. I don't have time to go through my business and see what services work. I don't have time to schedule social media. So let's cut the shit and get right to it. I'm going to ask you, If you don't have time, what are you feeling? Again, I want to honor that there are probably kids and family members and perhaps you're a caretaker and 
Maybe there's a demanding job happening or like there's a lot of life shit. I get that and I honor it. But if you do not make time for yourself and prioritize your needs, nothing's coming to do that for you. Two things can be true. There can be certain aspects of your life that require your full undivided attention and time. And you can prioritize yourself. There's a saying that goes, we make time for things that matter. Think about how many times that something has come up spontaneously and you're like, I typically don't have time for anything, but I want to do that so fucking bad that I figure it out. You made time because it mattered to you. It was important. It filled a part of your soul and of your life. And you did it. And how did that feel? This is the type of energy that I want you to start incorporating into your daily life. But here's where I'm going to brain ninja you just a little bit. Making time for yourself includes feeling like you are important enough to dedicate time to. Oh, that scratched your ass the wrong way, didn't it? Because that's what it boils down to. When you don't have enough time to do anything, it's because you have said, I am not important enough to make time for. And that, my friend, is where the real transformation begins. When you can recognize that you have unintentionally, intentionally put yourself at the bottom of the list consistently through your kids, through your family, through your work, through your friends, through your activities, whatever it is that you're doing, consistently putting yourself at the bottom of the list says that I am not important. There's often a lot of shame and guilt around taking care of yourself or making time to do things that fill your cup. That's a societal standard. That's what we have been trained to do. That's what generations before us have passed on to us. Guess what? This is the time frame where you get to shed that shit. That does not belong to you. That is not serving you any longer. And my friend, my God, if there's nothing else that I can drill into your head more than this, is that you taking care of yourself enables you to care for everyone else that's important around you that much more. Because instead of taking what's left over, what if you start with the full cup on your own? What if you made time to have some quiet time to yourself in the morning? What if you made time to be able to go for a walk? What if you made time to have a fucking dance party to your favorite music for 10 minutes? I don't, I don't whatever it is that is meaningful to you, that fills your tank, that says, you know what, I feel good now. I feel centered. I feel grounded. Like my energy is there. Now I can go do all of those things. Now I can be a great parent. Now I can be a great caretaker. Now I can perform better at my job. Now I can expand my business and give my all to my clients. I know you've heard it before. Watering everybody else's fucking garden before you water your own. Like you don't even have enough water left at the end of the day to water your garden. You are just praying to the dear baby Jesus that it fucking rains sometime in the next week. Here's the Jedi mind trick. You've had a water hose this entire time. And this is not about bashing and going back and, well, I should have and I know better. And I, we're not doing the shame game, okay? That's not what this is about. This is about recognizing here, today, right now, that you have your own water hose, that you have your own garden, and by watering yours, your magic spreads everywhere. When you invest time in yourself, that's an investment in the people that you love. Like, think about being around somebody that feels well taken care of, someone that invests their time, their money, their energy into meeting up with friends and taking time off and unplugging and like eating well and like just investing time in themselves. Their energy is pretty magnetic, isn't it? It's because they have watered their own garden first. They did it. You most certainly are allowed to do it as well. So let me ask you a couple of questions to get your brain hole thinking, if I haven't already. When you start feeling like I don't have enough time, ask yourself this very powerful and very simple question. What is worth releasing or delegating so that I can create time? Notice I didn't say make time. That feels like a chore. That feels like one more thing to do. Create is feminine. It's soft. It's playful. It's energetic. 
And getting in the mindset that you get to create time is expansive. So what in your life right now, in this moment, could be either delegated or removed so that you can create time for yourself? And if you're one of those people where you're like, I've never made time for myself. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what to do. That feels really wonky to me. Start small. Now look, if you want to flip the whole table over and just like start protecting your time to the nth degree, then that's fine. If that feels aligned with you, then do that. But most of the time, these changes are in subtle, tiny baby moments and decisions. Like when someone at your kid's school asks if you can bake five dozen cookies for tomorrow. Could you? Probably. Is it necessary? No. You can say no and protect that time. It's in your business when someone's trying to book something with you when you already have a jam-packed day and saying, you know what, I had time blocked in to take a walk this afternoon or to have some downtime to catch myself back up. Could I fill it in with another meeting? Yes. I'm going to choose not to, though, because I'm going to protect my time and my energy. The next question I want to challenge you with is where am I putting my needs last? Where are you expending your time and energy? to take care of everyone else other than yourself. What is one tiny way that you can choose you today to take care of something that you need first, to finish something that's been lingering for you first, where you can do something in your business that you feel excited to do, but you keep putting it off because everyone else needs you. Where can you book in some self-care time to go get your hair cut, to go get a massage, to go do acupuncture, to take a fucking yoga class on a random Tuesday afternoon? What is one way you can choose you today? I know it might feel a little wonky at first. It might feel a little off. You might have a little bit of guilt that comes up. You might have some shame. You might, your brain might be like, oh, I should be. Nah. Okay, you're going to have that noise. Right now, it's not about silencing it. Or feeling bad because you're feeling bad, right? Like it's this really weird fucking snowball effect that happens, but rather recognize it. Okay, I did a random yoga class on a Tuesday afternoon. I'm sitting here right now. I'm thinking about my to-do list. I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about my job. I'm thinking about my work. I'm thinking about the social media that I need to schedule. It's not about shaming yourself for having these feelings, but rather recognize them. Okay, I see. I am feeling guilty because I'm not doing all the shit that I should do. Hmm. Should. The word should has popped up in this. This is where you get to reprogram your body and your mind to say, okay, I recognize that. I'm feeling like I should do it. But what do I truly need? How is what I'm doing right now going to help me be better to do those things more efficiently, with more joy, faster, like, to get things done and to be more present. When you start to recognize how you're feeling, what you're thinking, what's going on in your actual present day life, you reconnect with yourself. And I can promise you, promise, promise, promise you that the more you do this, the more it strengthens. And eventually you become a non-negotiable in your life. Instead of the last person to get anything, you are the first person. And I'm not saying that guilt and shame is not going to, it's just going to like go away forever, right? Like that's part of being a human. But you get to the point where it doesn't rule you anymore. And if it starts to go down that path, you have built such inner strength that you see it coming a mile away. And you're like, okay, I see you, shame. (laughs) I see you, shame. We're not doing that today, though, because we have grown. And by taking care of myself, by making time for myself, by filling my own tank, by getting my own fucking water hose and putting it in my own damn garden, I get to grow and impact everyone around me. Taking time for yourself is not selfish. It is necessary. And I can promise you that if you allow yourself to plug in, if you allow yourself to have time, if you allow yourself to do the things that fuel yourself, you will feel more grounded, connected, expansive, peaceful, calm, joyful, all these things that you are searching for gets to be yours because you chose you first. If all of this is ringing true to you and you're like, yes, I'm ready for this, but I need some guidance and I need some accountability, book your alignment session at lauraora.com. Reminder, if you book by December 16th, they are 350 bucks off. 
Next week's episode, number 141 on the Guts Podcast, is about creating a kick-ass next chapter. So if you're in transition, you're ready to move on to the next phase of your life, next week's episode is going to be for you. Connect with me and come say hi on social media. I play the most on TikTok and Instagram. You can find me using at that Laura Aura. And as always, until I see you next time, stay gutsy.